Pakistan is currently facing a severe economic crisis that is having a ripple effect across all sectors of the country, including its armed forces. The country's external debt and liabilities have reached almost $130 billion, which is 95.39% of its gross domestic product GDP. Inflation is also at an all-time high of 27.6%, with food inflation reaching 42.9% in January 2023. The government has attempted to address these issues by raising the policy interest rate and increasing the price of petroleum. However, these measures may not be enough to alleviate the crisis. Pakistan's dependence on aid and loans, including 20 programs funded by the International Monetary Fund IMF, has only exacerbated the situation. The country's total defense budget for 2022-23 stands at $7.5 billion, with a 12% increase over the previous year's military expenditure. However, despite the increased allocation, reports have emerged that soldiers are facing severe cuts in food supply. The government is struggling to fulfill its military obligations due to its low economic growth rate of 2% and total reserves of only $3.2 billion. The IMF has warned that Pakistan's growing debt cannot be overlooked, even during fresh negotiations for the next round of funding. The government has been negotiating with international agencies to unlock a $1 billion bailout package to address supply-side shortages. In response to the crisis, Pakistan is preparing to implement austerity measures under the IMF roadmap, including salary cuts for government employees and reductions in foreign missions. Reports suggest that the government has also proposed a salary cut for the Pakistani armed forces. The IMF loan program agenda includes a hike in the central bank's interest rate, written assurances for the external financing gap, cost surcharge on electricity, and tightening of the exchange rate. However, the central bank has only increased the interest rate by 300 basis points BPS to 20%, leaving the other measures unfulfilled. Pakistan is also facing the challenge of returning almost $22 billion over the next 12 months. In addition, the United Nations Development Program has calculated that Pakistan spent $17.4 billion on freebies and concessions to the political class and military establishment. This situation is expected to hit the military establishment hard, with reports suggesting a salary cut and freeze on fresh military acquisitions. In conclusion, Pakistan's economic crisis is deepening, with the country struggling to meet its military obligations. The government is implementing austerity measures and negotiating with international agencies for a bailout package. However, it remains to be seen whether these measures will be enough to stabilize the country's economy and prevent further deterioration. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe.